Well, hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot, and this is your weekly reading for May 10th through 16th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. And if you're returning, welcome back. And I'm truly grateful for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments, and your wonderful energy. So just a reminder to everybody that this is a general and an intuitive reading. So not every message that comes out will be for all of you. Just take the parts of the reading that re uh, pertain, I should say, to your personal situation and leave the rest behind. So let's see where we go. Messages, please, for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know the most, please, for the week ahead? Messages for Gemini, please. All right. Thank you very much. So first out, we have fogged in. Okay, go slow, take time. And we also have the wondrous universe. All right. I truly love that energy for you guys for sure. All right. So we're fogged in. Okay. It feels, you know, uh, some of you may be fe feeling a little bit impatient in the situation here. All right. Things, uh, you know, great things sometimes take time to come to fruition. So especially if you're practicing any kind of um, any kind of law of attraction, okay, you're trying to make positive change in your life, all right, whether this is in your career, um, it could be in your personal life, it could even be as part of a spiritual awakening as well. Sometimes as humans, we do tend to be just a little bit impatient, right? And we want everything now, we've got that fear of missing out kind of energy, all right, but you know what, everything is in divine timing, the universe is always, always working in your favor, all right? I also feel like here, this is just a bit of a heads up for spirit that you know, um, you know, not everything needs to be done really fast. Sometimes we just need to go with the flow. Sometimes we need to work together to achieve a common goal or to achieve our own personal goals and dreams. All right. So great things, you know, great things don't always happen all at once, although it certainly is possible, but a lot of times to make positive change and improvements and to attract wonderful things into our life, it is little baby steps and it is tiny steps, right? And that's where, you know, we get those building blocks right and then when we look back on how much we've built and how far we've come we're like oh my god I've come so far so spirit just wants you to you know enjoy the race all right it's not about the finish line it's all about that race all right and enjoying every single moment along the way both good and bad all right it's all you know it's all part of the adventure so we've got the wondrous universe here as well. I love this energy. All right. So much good energy that's working for you. Always, always. The universe is always working um, with you to create a wonderful life. All right. And even in those times where it feels as though things are going wrong, whereas things aren't going right for us and we're faced with insurmountable or seemingly insurmountable challenges, okay, it's always, always for our highest good. It just doesn't feel like it at the time. But again, when you look back on, on things in hindsight and you look back on a situation that perhaps caused you a lot of trouble, a lot of grief and stress, all right, and then you look back and you, you see where you are now compared to where you've been and then you realize exactly exactly all the wonderful things that have happened along the way and you you know sometimes you've got that energy of wow I dodged a bullet there okay it didn't feel like it at the time it felt like the world was crashing in there all right so spirit wants to remind you that the universe is always working in your favor always working for your highest good and to drink in every single moment of it along the way right very much like that go slow take time it's all about the journey and the journey is wonderful with all of its ups and all of its downs right spirit never gives us more than we can handle okay and you know it's always for uh to make us better all right learning how to be human okay and that universe is always has our back so let's have a look and let's see what energy is coming towards you today i'm going to do things a little bit different uh this week okay so go back to um how i did things uh a couple of months back all right so your current energy there we've got rest and rejuvenate Okay, so that is an energy of taking a time out, taking care of yourself, going slow. All right, let's see the energy coming towards you today. All right, and we have, mm-hmm, 
we have harmony, okay? That's the lover's card energy there. And we also have shadow, which relates back to the moon. Okay, so let's have a look. Advice from spirit. What do we have, please, for our beautiful Geminis? What do we need to know? Thank you very much. And we have temptation, okay? That relates back to the devil card energy. Wow. Oh, geez, Louise. Okay, thank you. How are we receiving these? Okay, we're receiving these two and not these two. Okay, fair enough. All right, your outcome energy. Apologize for that. We have that was quite the uh, quite the energy. We have a new beginnings, the fool card, and we have patience. Mm hmm. Yeah, we've got patience there as well. All right, and we're not taking those two, although I am kind of nosy. All right. <laughs> so um, it, let's go through these a little bit. All right. So rest and rejuvenate. That is the four of swords energy. Okay. It's about taking that time out, pausing, reflecting, meditating for some of you, that self-healing kind of energy. All right. Have a nap, go to the spa, um, you know, read a book, all right. Whatever it is to take a time out, take a pause. All right. Not everything uh, not everything needs to be done in a day. Rome wasn't built in a day, although parts of it may have been. Okay, and this is really, spirit wants you to take that time out. Think about what you're trying to achieve, all right? And take that, um, take that just a little bit of time out just for yourself, okay? That little bit of uh, self-care. Um, it's a healing energy. It's a restful energy, but it's also one of getting grounded, um, bringing your energy down, right? Um, calming your mind and really appreciating all the parts of your life. All right, the energy coming towards you. All right, we have harmony. This is uh, Gemini energy, the lover's card energy, okay? So harmonious partnerships, love, self-love, reflection, all this beautiful energy that comes out with this. All right, this is connecting with your higher self. All right, listening to the energies of the universe there and coming into harmony with the people that are around you, um, you know, with your relationships, your uh, family ships, your business partnerships, right? Um, and having that more of a soul connection with another person okay or in, even with your higher self right and we achieve that sometimes through that rest relaxation and meditation right we bring harmony and balance into our life there all right and that comes out with shadow and this relates back to the moon card so Pisces energy with this right so some of you are really doing that spiritual deep dive and really looking into the depths of you and in, into the depths of your soul thinking about um, a situation and how far you've come all right you're may you're uh you know doing that bit of reflection and you know um bringing things to the surface that some of you have kept hidden perhaps it's how you feel about love you may be releasing some energies that no longer work for you anymore okay uh you may even be releasing um you know a dream into the universe because when we do have shadow that is that moon card right and um usually it's reflected with a full moon on there right which can be about releasing things okay so it feels as though you're doing um, some deep healing with that energy there and uh, really trying to figure out um, really trying to figure out how you feel about your current situation how you feel about um, you know yourself all right and bringing certain things to light now that shadow energy there okay that really is the shadow side of ourself okay but it is also about bringing things to the surface bringing things to light so some of you may be um, revealing your feelings, okay, about a situation, about uh, people, about places, things, all right, and, um, you know, really having a really good look in the mirror. Your advice from spirit, uh, take it easy, all right, with when we have the temptation card, that's that Capricorn energy, it relates back to the devil card, right, so spirit really wants you to have a look at a situation here and see how, you know, you see how you can break free from anything that's holding you back or anything that is threatening to overtake your life. Now, temptation, when we've got the devil card energy, it's quite often about um, material things. So, you know, work, money, um, food, alcohol, all of those kind of things, right? Are we doing things to excess or do we need to take that step back and put some boundaries? What, what is trapping us in? What is ensnaring us? Okay, and spirit really wants you to revisit that energy there and have a real good look with that shadow card there. Okay. Okay, and really, um, you know, see where you can make some positive improvements, take back control of certain parts of your life. Okay, so, um, you know, again, doing that shadow work. Now, when we do have temptation for some of you, it may be, um, you know, releasing 
ties from the past, okay, toxic cycles, right? Um, you know, trying to do things in a different way, trying to be more positive in aspects of your life, all right? So really take back control, put up those boundaries if you need to, and cut those ties of things that are no longer serving you. It's not that temptation, it's not that the devil card is necessarily a bad energy, okay? It's not like, you know, oh, it's Capricorn energy and all Capricorns are bad. No, no, baby, no. Okay, that's not what it is. We can always enjoy the finer things in life, okay? Those little sinful pleasures, right? But we do have to take uh, take a little step back there because sometimes that can get out of control. So spirit just wants us to take back that control. So your outcome energy, we've got new beginnings here. This is the fool card. This is trusting in the universe that things are happening exactly as they're meant to. And if you see this person on this card, she's come out of this doorway and she's literally just walking kind of walking on air there, right? But she's not too worried about it. She's got like her little, um, it looks like a little staff there, all right? She's not too worried about it because she knows that the universe is going to uplift her and she knows that, that the universe um, is going to, um, you know, protect her and she's got, you know, a, woo, a little sense of adventure there with that new beginnings card. So some of you um, are starting a new phase in your life, okay, and you're just full of excitement and exuberance energy and it's like that zest for life. So um, it's a really beautiful energy to embrace there, but tempering it, we do have patience, all right, Sagittarian energy. Um, this relates back to... Um, or sorry, temperance. Yeah, it relates back to the temperance card. Okay, Sagittarius energy. I'm not sure how I just said that. Anyway, um, so it feels like, you know, it feels like some of you have are releasing some energy this week, okay? You're doing that soul searching, okay? You're really doing some work on yourself. And when we've got patience card, this is a, uh, an energy of balance, harmony, peace, forgiveness, releasing things that no longer serve us, all right? And trusting in those new beginnings. So it uh, almost, it kind of like tempers the excitement of that new beginnings energy, but in a positive way, all right? So moving forward, moving up, trying new things, going on new adventures, right but um, you know also uh, keeping us um, keeping us in check all right trying to um, make sure that we don't go overboard with something all right so let's clarify these energies in relation to your career and money so let's clarify rest and rejuvenate rejuvenation please for career and money please what else whoa baby that is another kind of crazy energy there for you all right, but we've got the two of wands, patience and planning. All right, looking out into the future, knowing that the world is your oyster and you've got so many possibilities out there. All right, and try to think what you want. What do you want to do? And, you know, it's like a bit of a... Um, a bit of a daydreaming energy. So, you know, with um, the rest and rejuvenation, that four of swords energy there, okay, really your answers do lie within. Follow your follow your intuition. Listen to your higher self. What is good for you? Where do you want to go, right? What changes do you want to make, right? For some of you, you're really keeping your options open as far as your career path goes. And, uh, you know, it looks like you're, you're starting to think about making some change, right? You could be, you know, staying with your current organization and thinking, you know, about, you know, um, you know, maybe I'm ready for another challenge. Maybe I'm ready for a higher paying position. I'm wondering, you know, it's like almost like putting your feelers out there. All right. If you're looking for a job, okay, it feels as though you're expanding your horizons with that two of wands energy. And you're really thinking about the possibilities that exist out there for you. And it feels like you're keeping your mind open. So again, you're going to, you're going within, um, you know, you're doing that reflection and uh, you're trying to figure out what really floats your boat. What do you want to do? And uh, it feels like, you know, there's a lot of opportunities on your horizon there, but follow your passion and follow your dreams, right? So let's have a look. Let's clarify the energy coming towards you for career. Clarify this harmony and shadow energy. Thank you. Whoa. Okay. How am I receiving these? All right. Two. All of them. Okay. All of them. All right. Woo, baby. Okay. Uh, we've got the tower coming out. We have the knight of wands, the holy moly, the eight of wands, the six of wands, and the lover's card. Okay. Whoa, baby. Two lover's cards coming out for you. 
okay? There are big, big changes ahead. Now, everyone does tend to get freaked out as soon as we see the Tower card here, but there's sudden and unexpected change coming in here for you, all right? So, um, but with the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Lovers, there is positive change, positive, 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 whoa, mo. okay? So, the Tower energy is that one you know, there's a surprise in store for you. Okay. So you may, um, you may take a shot in the dark. All right. And that shadow energy there, that's, you know, um, feel the fear and do it anyway, sometimes, because there is a great positive connection for you on the horizon there. All right. So for some of you, you may, uh, you may have put your resume out. Okay. Or you may have decided to go for that promotion and all of a sudden, um, you, you get some sort of message that's just like, blows your socks off. Okay. And that puts you on the path to success. Okay. To harmony, peace, balance. It's something that you may have had your eye on for a while. Okay. And something that, um, you know, again, you just, it feels as though you took a risk, you took a chance and you know, with this, with this energy coming in, okay. The knight of wands is about following your passion. It feels as though, you know, there's, a, um, a, you know, a message coming in here about, you know, following your passion, something that really allows you to sink your teeth into it. Okay. The eight of wands moving you forward. Okay. That positive momentum, that shift in energy. All right. And when we have the tower, that's a shift in energy anyway. Okay. So, um, you know, really moves you forward. And then with that eight of wands, it's like, here's the, you know, with that tower, there's that, that, um, you know, that spark, okay. That gets the boat moving and the eight of wands is like that huge gust of wind that, that you know, that really gets you going. All right. And moving towards the future, but the six of wands here, this is an energy of badass success. All right. Building upon all of your current successes and, you know, it, great achievements. Okay. Being in the spotlight, rewards, accolades, victory. All right. We've got that victory wreath, right? And we've got that, um, this wand right here with that flame of passion. All right. So it's like by following your passion, by following your dreams, by, you know, some of you may have, may be, um, doing that, uh, you know, that soul searching to figure out, you know, what is your dream, right? What is it? What is something that you've really wanted to do all of your life? And you've, perhaps never had the opportunity to do it, right? When you take that action, right? When you take a risk, feel the fear, do it anyway. It feels as though great things happen for you. It's like that unleashing of energy. Anything that's been holding you back, is it the fear that's been holding you back? Because it feels like you have that opportunity to move forward. And with the lovers coming out again for you, okay, this is something that you really feel deeply in your soul. For some of you, you're following your soul's path, okay? You're on that soul's journey. You're back on track to where you're meant to be, all right? That tower energy can be that epiphany, all right? You're doing that shadow work. You're going within. You're trying to figure out where you connect with the universe. What kind of job do you want? Do you want just a job, nine to five, clock in, clock out? You don't really care what you do all day long, but it feels as though you're wanting something better than that, you're wanting, you spend a lot of time in your workplace, right? So, you know, this could be that you're following your dreams, right? It can go way back to your childhood for some of you, okay? And you may have some, you may put your dreams on hold, but now is that time, you know, you've got that uh, surprise, that epiphany moment, okay? And it's like, oh my God, now I need to, now I know exactly what path I'm supposed to be on. I know where I'm supposed to go. And once you have that clarity and you know what you want, right? That unleashes all of the rest of this energy. Like they came flying out of this deck, right? So, you know, I mean, if you, um, as far as some numbers go here, okay. Um, we've got three sixes, okay. Six, six, and six there for you. Okay. Not to mention that double energy of that lover's card. Very, very powerful, right? The universe wants you to be in balance, in harmony, follow your soul's path, right? What does that mean to you? And once you follow your passion, follow your dream, do what scares you. All right. And figure out what truly makes you tick. There's so a lot of success and there's a lot of balance. Okay. And it feels as though there's just an opportunity to do what you love. All right, so let's see, um, uh, let's clarify that temptation energy. That's crazy energy. That's really good. All right, let's clarify temptation advice from spirit. Am I taking all those? No, I'm not. Okay, I'm sorry. That kind of got caught on my fingernail a little bit. That was my energy. All right, clarify temptation for us, please. Ooh, and there we go. 
All right. And what is that? We've got the queen of pentacles. Okay. So be solid in your convictions. Okay. Nurture yourself. That queen of um, pentacles is one of, you know, self-care, nurture yourself. Okay. But stay grounded and stay committed to what you want to achieve. All right. Now that queen of pentacles, let me tell you, she is surrounded by abundance and abundance of opportunities. It's an abundance of, um, you know, wealth, success, achievement comes with that. Okay. But at the same time, okay. While, you know, while it is an energy of success, it's also one of maturity. It's a stoic energy, all right? It's one of nurturing, self-care, um, you know, and it's one of, you know, um, you know, uh, following your, okay, following your bliss and following your dreams, all right? And, you know, um, following your path to prosperity, but also sitting strong in your convictions and making sure that you don't get um, too sucked in, all right? So it's like, it's not really the, it, it's a weird energy. It's not really the energy of putting up boundaries, but I feel that's exactly what spirit wants you to do. Stand in your personal power, know who you are, believe in yourself and your own self-worth, okay? And make sure that you, you know, you um, take the time, energy, and attention to enjoy the finer things in life, all right? Celebrate your success. It's not an energy of celebrate your success either, but anyways, that's the energy coming in, okay? And but, you know, but this is that um, reminder there that you have all of your personal power stake grounded in your convictions and put up those boundaries. Enjoy those finer things in life, right? Enjoy the, the um, you know, uh, reap the rewards of your success, okay? And, you know, do, uh, okay, uh, take pleasure in all of the finer things in life, right? Once you, once you follow your dreams there, but always remember to stay grounded in reality. All right. So it's a beautiful energy. I love the queen of pentacles. So let's have a look. Let's clarify this outcome energy, this new beginnings and patience. Clarify the outcome energy here, please. Thank you. All right. We've got the eight of swords or sorry, the eight of cups and the two of swords. All right. Now the two of swords is being at a crossroads, making a decision, trying to figure out, um, you know, what you, what choice you want to make, what path you want to follow, right? And the eight of cups, that's that emotional detachment, okay? That's really, um, you know, taking stock of everything that you currently have. And while there's not necessarily anything wrong, um, you know, with the career path you're on, it just feels as though there's no emotional connection. Whereas with all this lover's energy here, um, you know, the moon energy, um, the six of wands, right? This knight of, uh, this knight of wands, there's so much passion here. Okay. And so much, um, uh, emotional connection, um, to a job prospect or a career path. Okay. Or following your dreams. All right. That it feels as though, you know, it's like, it's like, you know what? I'm walking away from anything that really doesn't give me emotional satisfaction with what I do all day, right? And some of you are trying to make that decision. You're going within and you're like, yep, following my intuition, right? That two of swords, going within, listening to your intuition, trying to quiet your mind, okay? And then, you know, figuring out where you want to go and then taking those steps. So we've got footsteps in the sand, right? And she is walking towards that brand new horizon. She's walking towards that new beginning. All right. So some of you do have some, uh, you know, a little bit of soul searching to do there, but once you figure out what you want and what new beginning is in store for you, that puts you on the path to that emotional contentment, that emotional satisfaction there. All right. And temperance is there to help you move forward. Okay. And to try and, you know, it's a guardian angel energy, right? So it's like you're being guided to something new, something better for you. All right. And something that, uh, you can really sink your teeth into moving forward. Okay, so um, I'm going to clarify uh, that was your that's your career, right? So it looks like some of you really are taking those steps to move forward and follow your dreams. Okay, and it looks like you're going to be very successful, a new job on the horizon for some of you. All right, that raise, that promotion, okay, whatever that, uh, whatever that is for you. All right, so certainly moving forward, right? We like to move forward. We don't like, we don't like to be stuck, okay? So now those of you who are interested in love, so we're going to cover, um, you know, relate love relationships, okay, and also new love. And the current energy, we, we've got strength, okay? So the energy of Leo, all right? So, you know, it feels like, 
you, um, you know, if you are currently in a relationship here, it feels like there's a very strong connection. There's a deep bond with you and your person. All right. This is also the energy of, uh, love, compassion, um, you know, dealing with situations in a very positive way rather than headbutting, right? And it feels as though, you know, some of you maybe have been with your person for a long time. You've had a lot of ups and downs, but it's got that energy behind it where, you know, you don't tame a lion by beating him to death, right? You tame the lion by drawing him in. Okay, so it just feels as though you've got this strong bond, all right, and you've got, got to have a strong bond here where she's sitting on top of the lion's head, right? So it just feels as though you and your person have a pretty strong bond and you have the ability to overcome obstacles and, um, you know, uh, continue to move forward, all right? Now, if you are looking for love with that strength energy there, okay, love it, okay, because this is one where it feels like you're very attractive right now, okay, all eyes are on you, you've just got this magnetic quality about you and you've just got this inner strength that shines through, all right, this um, solid conviction, all right, a lot of self-confidence and, you know, it's like you're okay on your own, all right, and it feels like you've, you've done a lot of healing, okay, certainly with that rest and rejuvenation energy there, right, and, uh, you know, you're drawing upon your inner strengths, but it feels like people are magnetically attracted to you, okay, people are really, um, people really respond energetically to personal strength, all right, and that has nothing to do with what you look like on the outside or, you know, um, how you dress or, you know, how much makeup you wear or how successful you are. It's for that inner light that shines out and it just feels as though you've, you're emitting a lot of positive vibes right there, okay? Um, and, uh, okay, I just got a reminder. I just got a little bit of a nudge, all right, in case I forgot to uh, say the lover's card, okay, Gemini energy, that is your energy. I just got a reminder. Um, a little bit of a, a ding in my ear that, hey, <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Sometimes I get a little bit caught up in the energy and I forget to give you that association. So I apologize for that. So a lot of your own personal energy and your own personal power coming out there. Okay. So let's clarify the energy coming towards you in regards to love, please. What this does does Gemini need to know? Thank you very much. We've got the nine of inspiration and spirit said, go again. So what else do we need to know about the energy coming towards us for love? Thank you very much. And we have the sun. All right. So this is beautiful energy here. The nine of inspiration. That's the nine of wands energy, right? It's one of, you know, it's one kind of, of standing your ground. Okay. It's um, one of being, you know, very determined. It's a wounded warrior kind of energy. All right. And it's, but it's still one of moving forward, but it's one of just taking a little bit of a pause, a little bit of a time out and kind of like surveying your opportunities, surveying your surroundings, surveying your situation and just being just a little bit wary. Okay. And, uh, you know, a little bit of a hesitation behind the nine of inspiration all right but we have the sun okay and that sun is such a positive energy it's one of growth personal growth self-confidence all right it feels as though you you know no matter what situation you've got going on okay in your relationship here it feels as though ultimately the sun will shine upon all of your difficulties okay it's like that positive energy that really um uh, rules the day okay so it feels as though you're um if you have any kind of ups and downs any kind of challenges all right don't forget we do have that uh lover's energy there and it just feels as though um, no matter what happens, okay, it feels like there will be communication, right? That strong bond there and it feels there will be a happy, successful outcome, right? Because you are in harmony with your person, all right? And you've got a deeper connection than just going through the motions day by day, right? And, you know, it is such a very positive vibe that's coming out of here. So, you know, it feels as though you have the power to overcome any obstacles, any disagreements, arguments, right? To restore that balance in your um in your relationship there, right? And, you know, again, you've got a very strong bond with your person. So, you know, it's not that there's not challenges along the way because yes, there is, but there's a happy outcome with that, all right? Now, I feel as though, and for those of you looking for new love, I feel as though you're trying to put yourself out there, all right? And, you know, again, that sun energy, that self-confidence, that beautiful vibration that that you've got, um, you know, going on out there. But with that nine of inspiration, it's like, it's like you're kind of surveying the landscape, okay? You're kind of putting the feelers out and looking to see what's around you. And you're not really taking any action right now because it just feels as though you're just taking that little step back, okay? And you're just 
uh, you know, just say, surveying that landscape, right? You're like, hmm, I don't know what's really out here. Okay, but as soon as you decide to move forward and to take action, again, all eyes are on you, right? You just radiate beautiful energy and it's like that magnetic attraction. It just feels as though you are calling in, okay? You are calling in a soulmate energy there, okay? You are calling in true love and it doesn't feel as though you're gonna put up with anything that's not, all right? So let's have a look. Let's clarify this temptation energy. All right, clarify this temptation energy, please, for love. What does Gemini need to know for love, please? What else do we need to know? This is your advice from spirit. All right, one more. Thank you. Okay, and we have the page of emotions. Oh, there's a surprise in store for you. So when we have the page of emotions, that's that page of cups energy, okay? And that is, um, you know, that is about the start of something new. It's about opening your heart to the possibility, all right? Opening your heart, keeping your chakra open, all right? Um, it's um, a time of increased love, increased creativity. It's also the time of stepping into a new phase for some of you in your relationship. But it's one of, you know, keeping your heart heart open um you know if you need to uh if uh if you need to uh, how should we how do I want to word that okay thank you um if you need to put forth the olive branch and apologize for something okay to smooth the waters it feels as though you will do so all right it also feels in that page of emotions that uh you know, you should keep your heart open and welcome in some apology or explanation from your person, right? It feels there may have been some sort of misunderstanding, okay, something, uh, some sort of obstacle that left you a little bit wary of a situation there, okay? So be welcoming and be open. Um, it also feels as though for, uh, for some of you, it, it's a little heads up from spirit that there may be a surprise headed your way. All right. Because that page of emotions, that page of cups quite often does have a surprise, a message. Okay. A message of love, a message of a higher commitment perhaps. Right. And while the page is uh, new beginnings really. All right. It's uh, stepping off on a new foot. All right. For some of you, it's a new phase in your relationship. So you may your person may um, express their feelings for the first time, okay? They may, um, you know, they may have that conversation with you about where are we going with this relationship, right? You're all in kind of different stages there, okay? You might, um, you know, say I love you for the first time, okay? Someone may have done something silly, all right, and kind of like put a little chink in the armor there, all right, and they may come forth with that apology, right? So it really is about a fresh energy when we get that page of emotions. Now, for those of you, uh, for those of you who are looking for new love, I feel as though there's some sort of surprise in store for you. All right. I mean, we do already have that. Um, we do already have the and tower coming out. Granted, it's in your career. All right. But, um, you know, but it's, uh, you know, the page of emotions is also a little bit of a surprise there. Okay. So I feel for some of you, you might be, you know, again, trying to, uh, starting to put yourself out there and you might actually surprise yourself. You may find somebody all of a sudden that really sparks your interest and you might be going, well, that's fast. All right. But, um, you know, so there may uh, all be, someone could also be approaching you. Okay. Someone with those pages, sometimes they have their eye on you a little bit. Okay, and it just feels as though someone may surprise you with some sort of genuine offer. And it doesn't mean, you know, someone's going to walk up to you and say, hey, baby, I like, you know, I dig your jam, right? Let's, you know, let's go out and, you know, paint the town red. All right, it might not be quite that. It might be like a cup of coffee, okay? Or, you know, you may get a text message from somebody, right? Um, you know, something along those lines. And it just might spark your interest and you might surprise yourself there, okay? You may even be surprised about who. Okay, you may actually know this person. So Spirit says, you know, keep your heart open and be welcoming to those new opportunities, all right? Don't be closed off, okay? Try and open up your energy there and welcome in something new. And so clarifying your outcome position there, we've got the six of materials. I feel, you know, um, for those of you in a current relationship here, it feels as though uh, you're coming back in balance, okay? So whatever kind of rocked the boat there a little bit, that six of emotions, that's that, um, or sorry, six of uh, materials there, that's that six of pentacles energy, and it's about um, reciprocating energy, okay? Um, 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 a healthy balance, a give and take, right? Um, the, it's the law of giving and receiving. So it's 
being invested in a connection, all right, and um, being back in balance and harmony. So be both you and your person, it's that equal energy, right, by being right back in tune, in balance, in harmony with you and your person. The Six of Materials can also actually be um, help from unexpected resources, okay? Um, it can be a financial uh, reward, okay? Some sort of material gain somewhere along the way, okay? So there may be something, there may have been something to do with money, okay? There may have been something to do with your career and, you know, um, you know, money can certainly uh, affect a relationship as well. So it just feels as though there's some sort of reprieve. There might be some sort of surprise. Again, you know, that's come in that you weren't expecting and that puts your relationship right back on track exactly where it's supposed to be. Okay. And that restores that balance uh, in your life there, right? Because money can absolutely affect your relationships. Okay. But for those singles out there, that six of materials who I think there's a new opportunity that's, uh, that's coming on in here for you, something that is on the horizon for you. And it's something that is balanced. Okay. And it feels like a gift from spirit, a gift from the universe. And it allows you to uh, start on something fresh, start on something new. But this person, okay, it feels like they do not take from you. They're not an energy vampire. They're not, it's not a one-sided individual. It's someone who, um, you know, who puts in, okay, into the, into the relationship, into the connection as much as they take out, okay, and as do you. So it really does have that um, huge energy of balance. I mean, we've got so many energies of balance and partnership and harmony that are coming in here for you. So it really is, um, it really is a beautiful energy. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys, okay? But I'm going to close out your reading here with um, with a couple of cards there. The um, uh, Healing Angels energy, thank you. Almost forgot what they were called. Anyways, the one, uh, what, what else do we need to know for Gemini, please? One last word of advice for our beautiful Geminis out there. All right, almost ready. There we go, okay. So we have Vacuum Away Fear. Mm-hmm. There's that moon energy there, okay, that face your fear, and then we have shield yourself, all right, there's that energy, energy, so vacuum away fear, okay, call upon archangels Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy away from you, all right, your surroundings, the situation, and everyone involved, okay, that uh, moon energy that we had here, right, this shadow energy, okay, and that's about bringing things to the surface, right, addressing your fear, fears, right, feeling the fear and doing it anyway, all right, D making some positive change in your life. We have shield yourself here as well. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies. Mm -hmm. Repeating messages by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. All right, so right back to this, um, right back to this rest and rejuvenate energy. Okay, um, really taking that time out, protecting your own energy, getting yourself grounded. All right, and when we shield ourselves, okay, we. We don't, we don't want to stick around any kind of energy vampires, right? We really want to um, have peace, balance, and harmony. So uh, call in your archangels there to help you, okay? And, um, you know, take steps to protect yourself. For some, it's just a quick little meditation. Envision like a shield of mirrors, okay? Or a ball of protection around you, all right? You may also want to do some work with crystals uh, as well, okay? There's some great ones that transmute some energies, okay, selenite, uh, black tourmaline, things like that, okay, that uh, can help you, all right, and shield yourself can also be that eight of cups energy of walk away from any situations that are draining and that are no longer serve their purpose for you, all right, so I'm going to leave that there for you, Gemini, okay, but hopefully there was some messages in here, in here that resonated with you, if so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, leave me a comment as well, let me know how things are going for you, I thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you next time, bye-bye.